When I was 16 years old, I went scuba diving in Greece and um, I was expecting to see all these beautiful things, but I looked around me and I just saw more plastic bags than fish and I wondered, uh, why can't we just clean this up? Our pilot system was deployed in Indonesia, but our, our second system um, has now been deployed in, in the Klang River here. Various parts of uh, what's being done here already exist. I mean, it's not the first time somebody tries to scoop plastic out of a river. So the, the key novelty behind this is the scalability. So it's really sort of a, almost a one-size-fits-all solution that can work in you know, a, a small canal in an you know, American city, um, all the way to yeah, Klang River, which is, um, which is, first of all, of course, has a very high debris load, um, but also um, has quite a high flow speed as well with, with regards to the tidal effect. So, um, so it's really designed to work not just in one specific river, but really in all or at least most of those uh, 1,000 heaviest polluting rivers that we're trying to solve. Because that what we see is that 1% of rivers is responsible for 80% of the, the problem. Um, and 1% of rivers equals roughly 1,000 rivers. Um, so that's where we hope to go in the next five years, deploying 1,000 interceptors. The interceptor has a high capacity. It can uh, do 50,000 kilos of trash per day. Uh, I think optimized, you can go up to 100,000 kilos of trash per day. Most problems today are created by sort of um, a mismatch between nature and human nature. There's many more problems that can be tackled in a similar way. Um, so, um, so, so that's I think my, my goal to, to develop more solutions like this for big problems of sustainability.